When Gemini released its FedEx 777F in 2020, it purposely lowered the distribution and suggested retail prices. It was actually 35% cheaper than other 1-200 scale 777-200s. What happened and why? Don't want to wait? Just go straight and check it out at the fourth minute. I've reached this Gemini FedEx 777F in 10 categories. This model comes with Gemini's standard white box design, with a void to let you have a glimpse of the model inside. The form and the transparent cover offer very good production to the model. I'll give a 9. This 777F comes with magnetic landing gear and a display stand. Gear door covers are very well made. All the door covers can sit into the slot perfectly. The plane looks very great in fight mode on the stand. I'll give a 9. This Gemini 777 mode is very good. You simply can't find any obvious flaws. Curves on the nose look very realistic. It correctly uses the wings of a 777F instead of those without the extended wingtips on a 777200 or a 777300. The shape of the wings and the extended wingtips are very good looking. The tail and the vertical stabilizer look exactly like the wheel things. I'll give a 9. This pair of GE90 engines are very realistic. The fan blades are spinnable. It has see-through cores and comes with the correct engine pylons for GE90s. They are in good shape and in scale. I'll give a 9. The wings and horizontal stabilizers are very well attached. The two engines are well aligned and have very good ground clearance. The seam between the vertical stabilizer and the fuselage is almost invisible. I'll give a 9. It's easy to put on the gears. The gear legs and joints are well made. The wheel hubs are really detailed. The main gears can tilt and can be kept in a very good-looking landing tool position. I'll give a 9. The major aerials and levigation lights are well made by insert parts. All the cargo doors on both sides are accurately recreated. All markings on the wings and on the engines are very finely printed. It has inserted gems on the nose gear leg, and it even has a tiny black square here to depict FedEx's unique forward-looking infrared device on the nose. Since there is no cabin doors over the wings, so it correctly dismisses the overwing exit markings on the wings here. Yet, the pair of ADF antennas and the SACOM, the landing lights on the wings are only printed, and the coloring of the APU exhaust is not realistic enough. I will only give an 8. All the titles and logos positions, sizes, and typefaces are correct. So why did Gemini take the initiative to lower the price of this model? Because there is a very tiny but somehow important livery discrepancy. In fact, Vadix names all its 700 planes after its employees' children and has the name written under the rear carpet windows. This plane, level 87, is named after the child, Juliana, and has her name on it shortly after entering service. For unknown reasons, Gemini missed printing the name on it. So it immediately became a defective product even before it left the factories in China. That's why its distribution and retail prices were 35% lower than usual. I'll give only a 7. The coloring of FedEx iconic white and purple are very sharp and bright. 
The gray color on the wings and horizontal stabilizers are also very realistic. I'll give painting a nine. The surprising low prices of this phalanx was quite confusing to the collectors. Many became hesitant to buy it until they managed to figure out the problem. But look at the resale prices of this model. Obviously, only a few people are bothered by the missing name. So the resale prices have always been very similar to other 777-200s. I'll give an 8 for value. I'll give this FedEx 777F a total of 86 points in my Eric Index. Were you bothered by the missing name on this model? Leave a message to let us know. See you next time.